Perfect. So the first thing I'm going to have you do then is click take a tour um, and to read through the tour for a little bit and get a little bit of an understanding for about 30 seconds or so. And let me know when you're finished. So it's pre-alpha, not even beta. <laughs> <laughs> not even alpha. Mm -hmm. So it should be very buggy. All right, so go ahead and open a notebook. Okay. All right. Um, now in the notebook, type the following Python code. Um, print hello world. And execute the code once you've written this in Python. And do what? Um, execute the code. Okay. Awesome. Now go ahead and open another notebook. That's not what I want to do. Okay. okay. And then in that second notebook, type the following Python code. Print hello sci-fi. and execute that code once you're done. Yeah. Okay, now arrange the two open notebooks so you can view them side by side. Now, on either of your notebooks, restart the kernel. I do not see how to do that. Okay, well, maybe this will do it. Yeah, I give up. All right. Um, so go ahead and save your Hello SciPy notebook. All right. Um, once you're done with that, make a new cell and type x equals 2 in the new cell. Uh, in that same notebook? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, now rename that notebook as coolnotebook.ipymv. Okay, so I already had renamed it, but okay. name it what? <laughs> Just cool notebook. Cool. Okay. All right. Now create a new subdirectory in JupyterLab named images. level there said call it images mm -hmm. okay um, now go ahead and upload an image from your desktop to the images folder I don't 
like this one, but that's what you can do. And it didn't go on images. Yeah, yeah, that's a Don't worry about that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, great. Um, and now it's nowhere. Try to read the Okay. All right. No worries. Okay. So next, um, create a. Oh, now it's now I, now it's well, I uploaded it a third time, well, and yeah, now it's in there. <laughs> third time's a charm. Yeah, well, okay, there you go. Okay. And it just bumped me up to the um, directory without me touching anything. <laughs> Unless you did it. <laughs> I can't see what you're doing. Okay, okay, then it just bumped me up to the root directory. All right, that's good to know. Um, okay, go ahead and open the image in Jupyter Lab. Okay, now make sure you're in your home directory and create a text file in a new folder. Okay. Once you're finished with that, write Alan is awesome in the text file. Okay. Awesome. Go ahead and save the file. Shortcut keys don't work. Command S. Save as it wants to save it to the desktop. <clears throat> Not what I want. Not seem to want to save in here. I can do save as and save it somewhere else, mm -hmm. but that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, I can't save it. Okay. Um. All right. Oh, uh, here we go. There it says it's maybe it's saved now. Yeah, it's saved now. Going to editor. Gotcha. But okay. the shortcut, I don't know if it worked or not. Okay. Um, yeah, I think um, you're using a um, the Chrome shortcut to save the whole page. Uh, Jupyter has a different shortcut. Command S. Just yeah, I tried doing command S. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, it was Jupyter control S, not command S. Yeah, I've, so I've tried both. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I first did like control, and then I realized, oh yeah, I'm on a Mac, and I tried command right. S. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Okay, um, so next, launch a Python 3 console. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now write a is equal to five and execute the code. Okay. All right. Um, now switch the console to the C kernel. Okay. 
awesome. I go ahead and close the console. And open a terminal and type ls. Terminal. Saw that somewhere. I did. Oh, new terminal. All right. Okay. Um, now increase the terminal's font size. Increase. All right. Okay. Um, and last but not least, open the notebook tutorial. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. That is all we have for you. Um, do you have any additional comments or any questions about the software? Anything you can definitely improve on? Um, anything that was included for you? Well, what's the motivation behind this new generation of Jupyter compared to the current version? Um, basically, um, we're making it so it's more um, extensible, like so people can write things with a notebook um, and also have a terminal open and um, the files right there, as well as adding other additional plugins, so actually making it more open source and allowing other developers to write plugins and streamline their workflows and stuff to, um, you know, work in the notebook as well as anything else. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, I don't have anything else.